There's a new documentary coming out about the making of Thriller. Can you believe it's been over 40 years since it was released? <laughs> what else can I say? There is no bigger bang than that bang. It came out, I was just looking it up. It came out November of 1982. That means I wasn't even, I was about one years old about it. <laughs> okay. I mean, but that's when you know something is timeless and classic. It sold, oh, hold the line. It sold over 70 million copies. If that, if that ain't a bang, I don't know what a bang is. Listen, okay, he has seven top 10 singles on this album. Two number one hits. Can y'all guess which the two number one hits were? Thriller. It was not Thriller. Oh. That's the album. Billy, wait, was it Billy Jane? It's Billy Jane, one more. Eat it. No one wants to be. We all was up in there thinking we was. Ah, you saw my move. Feed it. So we all thought we was Michael. But it's, it's amazing that, do you realize it, it's still the number one selling album of all time? Wow. Honey, and that music video changed the game. Yes, it did. Sure, I remember trying to, I was, I was in high school in, in uh, like show choir, and we had to do the thriller moves. Don't act like, I know, you, you, I see you already giving it. Yeah, how you doing? And then, uh, nah, 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 nah. you got it, anybody else? <laughs> anybody else remember those moves? But that's gonna show you just how powerful like music is. And I mean, there was no bigger artist than Michael Jackson to still be the number one, have the number one selling album of all time. And then moves ain't nobody forgot. And like I said, I, I see you looking too, what you got? <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm gonna calm down. Cause when I was little, I used to take my rug, y'all. When the shows came on, I'm so serious. Watch the videos and put a little rug on the floor cause that was my stage, okay? And then the mirror, that's how where I practice my videos, okay? That's how you got a little Jennifer Hudson. I ain't sold no 70 million albums, okay? <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying that to say, Michael Jackson inspired us all, right? Even, even I saw that there was a, um, a parade in New York. It looked like they took over the whole, look at this. Do you see this? How, how do you even begin to pull all of this together? And I know it's a parade, but how many folks is that? When I look at that from a production, well, first of all, Michael Jackson would be so proud of that right there. Do, do you not think so? Okay. Anyway, I, I just had to give that credit because Baby, that is a record that has never been broken, and I'm not sure it ever will be broken. But we still have Thriller in our hearts. I know we do, and it is still relevant today and from here on out. Speaking of... <laughs> speaking of greatness, I am so excited because my friend Ryan Lochte is here. <laughs> as my guest. Yes, he is. He, I have to brag, I have to brag, he recently taught me how to swim. I just told you, back when Thriller came out, I was, I was uh, one years old, that was 40 years ago. Well, I waited till 42 to learn how to swim. <laughs> and could nobody teach me but Ryan Lochte. So y'all will get to hear about that when he come out here today. You ready? And if you want really to learn how to swim, you can learn how to swim too. I'm sure he would be a great teacher. He will let you know. All right? I did an outstanding job. Y'all know what that sound means? It's time for Knockstar! <laughs> Woo, here we go. This season, we're surprising our viewers right at their doors. And today, we're in the beautiful Long Beach, California, helping us out with our surprises, our very own producer, Bianca. Hi, Bianca. Tell us. You made it, girl. You made it. Tell us who we're surprising I'm today. I'm from here. <laughs> yeah, so today our knock star, it's a wonderful woman. Her name is Cindy Cardova, and she's an executive assistant at UCLA, and she's a mom to twins. She has a boy and a girl. Oh, okay. Well, get to knocking. Let's go surprise her. Okay, let's go. Y'all ready? Let's go. 
Okay. It's a beautiful neighborhood here. It is. Oh, she still has the Look, pumpkins out. I wonder, did they do Thriller? Okay, let's go. Some stairs. Let's see. What they, what they decorations look like. Okay. The ghost like, over here. Yeah, okay. don't let it scare you, though. Okay, be watchful. Okay. Let's go. Ghost might pop. Now, go. knock real good. Scare with it. Hey, Cindy. 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 Hi, Cindy. Are you sure? I am. Welcome to the Jennifer Hudson Show. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're here. Oh, okay. God, Cindy, you're our lucky oh non-star today. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just peed a little. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Cindy. I love you so much. Thank you so much. I love you so much. That is so sweet. Watching you on YouTube. You were watching me on YouTube. And we have the same favorite color. Purple? We have the same favorite color. That's right. Purple yes. is my favorite color, Cindy. Now, Cindy, you know what? I love you back just the same. So I wanna I wanna learn about you. You have your twin, your mom of twins. I am a mom of twins. Um, they're nine years old. Their names are Lex and Olive. Oh, double trouble of fun, it seems like. They are, it's a boy and a girl, yep. I got one of each. And then I also have two stepkids, uh, Weston and Kate. Nice. Hi, family. Your mom is here with me on the Jennifer Hudson Very Show. Lot. Well, Very I hear lot. you work at UCLA. Can, you, can I see you do the A clap? I how do. does that work? Yes. Show me how you do it. You ready for this? Yes, ma'am, I am. Okay, put, your, put your hands up. Okay, uh-oh. And you shake them. Shake them? And then you do eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You. C. C. L. L. Okay, okay, that, ooh, that was an exercise. I gotta work on that with my thriller moves. I gotta step up, that was amazing, Cindy. <laughs> Little arm cardio. Little arm cardio. Okay, Bianca, the suspense is over. Can you tell Cindy what we're here for? Okay, so since I know you watch our show, you are a knock star of the day, and you know how much Jennifer loves her viewers, so she wants to give you a chance to win a little something. Oh my God. But first, you have to complete a challenge. Does that sound good? I'm ready. Okay. I Jennifer, think. tell her what the challenge is. Okay, if you get this right, you get a chance to win $250. Are you ready? Oh, my God. Okay, Cindy, you have twins. Which one of these musical groups does not have twins? Sticks, the Bee Gees, or the Jonas Brothers? Sticks. Who doesn't have I'm twins? I'm going with Sticks. Sticks? Mm. Okay, you got two more That's options. <laughs> two more. So is it either the Bee Gees the or the Bee Jonas Gees Brothers? The Bee Gees or the Jonas Brothers? Jonas. There you go! Jonas. Jonas. We get second chances around here. You just won. Congratulations again, Cindy. We'll be right back. Our next guest went viral after answering a simple question from a TikToker, Body by Mark. Y'all take a look. Excuse me. I have a TikTok and I ask people who are in really good shape what they do. Wow, my boy. I don't do weights. It's Ooh. calisthenics. Pull-ups. Pull-ups. Dips. Push-ups. How many pull-ups can you do? Oh, my God. Honestly, two real men, they don't count. Really? I just go, bam, 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 bam. And then when I start in pain, yeah. that's when I be like, yeah. bam, 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 bam. You go all day long. Awesome. It's going to be high on the beginning, but later on. Yeah. Please welcome you. I love it. Oh, we 
love your energy. Thank you. Too much, we very much. <laughs> you just cruise right on out here. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. We're so happy to have you. Okay, let's get into it. Did you think you would go viral with the question? Absolutely not. No? I was, no, I was sick on fever. You were sick I, that day? Yes. I tried to go home. Mm -hmm. And I just, walking, I just see a guy, what do you do for, for, for keeping shape? And I just, just went through it. <laughs> She <laughs> just went through it. Went through it. Like, this is what I do. Yeah, this is what I do, you, you know. You seem so motivated. Ah, I am very passionate. People should be like that in all ways. Yes. Absolutely. You say people should be like that, what? Like, yes. Yes. Passionate, like, everything you do, do we love. And, mm, like, are you, yes. You sound like you need to be a motivational speaker. Maybe. Maybe? Yes. I motivate people when, you know, in all ways, for a long time ago, they'd be like, you should do a motivation and say, really? I've been thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this will lead to that. Who knows? Who, you never know. Tell me what you love about your job most. Wow. It's like I feel like I'm on vacation every day, every single day. Aww. I see different people, different energy. The companies are really great. And it's like, oh, my God. My day is like, easy going. Don't you just love this energy? <laughs> It's so refreshing. It is. Where do you get that from? Where do you get this zesty, like, positive attitude from? Well, I think it's come from my grandfather. Mm -hmm. He wake me up four in the morning. Four in the morning? Yes. To and he go what? like, uh -huh. even you're not going to do nothing, do it so you appreciate the life. Because it's a lot of people cannot see, cannot hear, cannot taste. Yeah. And you have it. Why are you complaining? Just do it. I love it. Yes. Absolutely. Wow. Okay, now, Kate, we all want to know about your fitness and what's your routine, you know, to stay yeah, so fit. To get so fit. First of all, I wake up and say thank you. I meditate. I wake up five in the morning, meditate, make my oatmeal, and then go calisthenics. I do my push-ups. You know, I can show you a few things. That... Yeah, sure, that's all. <laughs> yeah. I want to say, you go, you go down with love and passion in slow motion. <laughs> You go like that, Jenny? Yeah. Also, you do some squat, but don't do like normal people. Like, oh, no, no, no. No? Go with, with well, love. I'm going to do it. Like... I'm going to sit down and watch you do it. OK. Mm. Mm. You know, plus the music, you know, some people don't got time for, for wake up and stuff like that. Dance. dance. That's the dance. Dance. And dance. It moves. Yes. You know, it absolutely, moves. definitely. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. You got Some merengues, whatever music you like, just keep the heels like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and an emotion love. Carlos? <laughs> yes. Oh, go ahead, show! Get it, Carlos! Go, Carlos! Yes! for you, Carlos. Of course, all of, everybody want to know, are you single? Are you married? I am. Are you single? Yes. Oh, you are? Y'all hear that? Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Please keep that beautiful energy. Your spirit is amazing. Didn't it lift y'all up? Oh, my God. You're awesome. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Carlos Cruz, y'all. We'll be right back. You got to teach me so those. <laughs> Our next guest is a 12-time Olympic medalist who took the time to teach me how to swim. Take a look. I am here with 12-time Olympic medalist, Ryan Locke. So if you fell off a boat in the ocean, could you could I survive? No. This past summer, I was surrounded by water and it was nothing I could do. You know what I mean? I don't think it's ever too late when you can learn. Are you really good at watching something and then you mimicking it? Yeah. All right. Ready? Yeah! 
Three. There you go. Yep. Keep going. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm going to the Olympics! Woo! <laughs> yeah, no, hey, that was good. Please welcome Ryan Lochte! Happy to have you here. Yes, thank you, thank you. Can I get another round of applause for her? But I had the greatest coach, though. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. you know, thank you for taking time to help me learn how to swim and all of that good stuff. Yes, you you did phenomenal. I'm did I do so that? so proud of you. The only question I have: okay. Are you still swimming now? You know what? It's been on my spirit. But, but Ryan, listen, I haven't found a big enough swimming pool yet, but I'm going Ooh. back and I may have to right. call you back so you can teach me some of them special tricks. Cause you know, I'm yeah, trying to be I like got, you. We got flip turns next. Uh oh. Yeah. Then starts. Yeah. Starts? Oh yeah. Starting off the starting blocks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to get you in the Olympics. Okay. Now see, th see, that's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah. <laughs> then I could be like you. All right, yep. but I heard you had John Legend how to swim too. Yes. Okay, yes. who was better though, me or John? I love you, John, but you know. So, so John Legend, it was a couple of years ago. His pool was shorter. Okay. You out swam him by a lot. I did. By a lot. Oh. See, he had a little, he had a little tidy pool. You would have done laps around him. You hear that? Oh, my first try, right? Yes. Ryan, I have to say, all I needed was a little bit of encouragement, but you were such an awesome teacher. You gave me the confidence and the courage to try it, and I knew I was in good hands, so I was like, shh, 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 let me try. You did it. You did you know? it. Yes. I had the best time. You know what? I want to ask you, would you like, because I'm so appreciative of you helping me out, so would you like to learn how to sing? Ooh. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 What you see? Uh -oh. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. You did not see that guy. He said, ooh. <laughs> ooh, no, you don't want to hear me sing. Uh -uh. No? I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave that to you, but since you, like, did, um, you stepped out of your comfort zone yes. and learned how to swim, next week I will be here at SoFi Stadium doing the Celebrity uh, Flag Football Tournament. Oh. So I will be stepping out of my comfort zone. And doing flag football, uh, I'll be like a fish out of the water. So I got to put these fins to, to the test. Ooh, that makes you nervous, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to mess up. See, you'll be all right. If you sing a song and your spirit, it calm you down and you'll yeah. be okay. All right. We'll <laughs> but be good a... luck with that. Yeah. And congratulations yeah. on that. Thank you. As well. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about your clinic, Legendary Academy. Yes. I want to put the Olympics in everyone's eyes. Mm -hmm. I want to have these little kids that grow up to see me being like, you know what, I can do that too. I want their dreams to come true. So I want to teach kids how to swim all across the world. Oh, wow. I love that passion of yours. That is, it's gonna be some great swimmers out there then, that's for sure. And then you have your own sunscreen. Tell us about that. Ooh, yes. My own sunscreen called Block T. That's a dope name, Block T. Hey, if you're, if you're about to make a I bad mistake in life, just spray on some Block T. Nah, I don't need it. <laughs> Lock it, lock it out. Um, but yeah, it's all natural ingredients. Okay. Um, and it's just, it's, it's something that like, cause I've always been in Florida. I've always been around sun. My dad had skin cancer. So it's something that's really dear to my heart. And I wanted to come out with my own block, like sunscreen, block tea. Nice, nice. Congratulations again. You're on the roll. Okay, I love that. Okay, tell us, when did you first start swimming? I first started, so growing up in New York, um, my parents were both swim coaches. Mm -hmm. um, so I was always around, I was always around the pool deck, but I couldn't say, hey mom, hey dad, like what's for swim practice today? There, it was coach. Oh. And then as soon as we left the pool deck, it was mom and dad. We never talked about swimming. So we had two different lifestyles. So I think that's what really helped me moving on throughout my swimming career. Um, and I just kind of fell into the sport. The love and passion I have for the water just, it was my happy place. 
I love that. It was your happy place. And kind of fell into the water. You're modest. All you've achieved with it is insane. Okay, now the Paris Olympic is, Olympics is coming up, and you want to be a commentator for it? Oh, yes. I would love to okay. be a commentator for the Olympics. Oh, go and pitch yourself. How would you commentate? Give us an example. Oh, I don't, I, ooh, you put you me know. on the spot. <laughs> Paris, 2024 Olympics. Give it to him. Ryan Lochte's coming to you. There you go! He just claimed that. Norman Ryan Lochte will be right back. Hey, Ryan wants to try to get rid of his grays, so I have some brown. Wait, wait, I'm not trying to get, you said you wanted it, me to get rid of my grays. No. Not me. No, I said, oh, we should try a little color, see if the grays will go, go away. Go away, yes, that was you. You did this. I just Well, you're agreed. like, yeah, do it right now, so. Yeah, and. Exhibit A. All the husbands out there, always listen to your wife, always say yes. Right. Good job. We're back with Ryan Lochte, and he knows to listen to his wife. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Listen, listen to your wife. Uh huh. <laughs> I love that. Your family is adorable. Yes. Do your kids know how to swim? Have they learned yet? Uh, my oldest son, he's on the swim team, mm -hmm. but he doesn't really like it so he much. He doesn't like it. No, but he knows. He lo He wants to just play, uh -huh. play swim. Which I'm fine by that. Uh, as long as my kids know how to swim, that's all I really care about. Um, and if swimming is what they want to do in a career, then they can pursue that. But um, I'm not pushing them. I'm letting them make their own decisions. But That's a good approach. You're a good dad, too. Uh, I try. I try. That's nice. But yes, yeah, so, uh, there's my boy right there. Oh. Man, I'm gonna start crying. I love this. Aww. Uh, yeah. So, six-year-old boy, four-year-old girl, and a five-month girl. Oh. And yeah. how was? She, how was oh, she, she loves the water. She loves. She the thinks water? she can swim, but she can't. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, Daddy's right there, always, <laughs> by the steps, making sure she doesn't go down. <laughs> Just letting her think that she can. Now, your wife, she loves to like prank you a lot. I see it on social media. Man. You gotta watch your back, huh? I need some help, guys. I need to get her back, and I don't know how. She, she comes up with all these tricks, all these pranks on me, and I don't know how to get her back. You have She's never gotten her back? She's oh too God. smart. You didn't know that was in there? No, I thought I, thought I was really doing a soda test. Yeah. It's all over your face right now, I can tell. Yeah, because I got that, like, the soy sauce and red hot going down my <laughs> you mouth right do now. <laughs> You can still taste it. Okay, listen, I love your wedding photo. This was, I think this was such a cute idea. Y'all jumped in the pool. Uh, I mean, we, I think that's as so you can see, we, we, didn't, we didn't jump in. I kind of threw her in. Oh, so you did get her back then. I was like, hey, please don't divorce me over <laughs> this right now. Please, please, please. <laughs> how I love she, you. How was she as a swimmer? Oh, she's a phenomenal swimmer. Oh, okay. Oh, she's a phenomenal swimmer. She was a lifeguard growing up, um, so... She definitely knows all the strokes and everything. I was like, can you tell me what my world record is in? And she's like, you got a world record. <laughs> yep. I'm like, what stroke? And she's like, yeah, swimming. <laughs> swimming. I'm like, that's, that's my babe. Yep. Aww. <laughs> Your family sounds amazing, yeah. adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you've been on a lot of reality shows. Is there one that you want to do next? Like, what do you want to do next? Um, I mean, I love doing reality shows just because I meet so many new people. Okay. And some of my good friends are from shows that I've been on. So, I mean, I'm up for anything. As long as it's not a singing competition, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think you could do it, Ryan. Ooh, have you ever heard me sing? I don't think Let me get up. No. Uh, oh. Okay, never mind. I'm that. <laughs> All right, uh, go to LatiForever.com for more information on Ryan's legendary swim clinic. We'll be right back. We'll work on the single. Yeah. Social media is a powerful tool that created an unbreakable bond between our next guests. Take a look. Hi, I'm Amanda Durbro, and this is my daughter, Colby. Colby was born at 23 weeks. She weighed one pound, two ounces, spent 153 days in the NICU, and had six different brain surgeries during her time there. Colby was about two years old when we got her diagnosis of CP. 
I am Steph Roach. I live in Phoenix, Arizona. I am the owner of Staying Driven LLC, and I have had the incredible opportunity of being a mentor to little Colby for the last two years, and it has been such an amazing experience. I was born with cerebral palsy, so Colby and I have had very similar experiences. The other thing is about Steph because we both have cerebral palsy. It makes us so special because we talk to each other all the time. I started a little Instagram account for Colby, more for my own therapy, I think it was. I had the intention of helping other people and helping other moms. I stumbled upon Steph. There was something about Steph that just kind of caught my eye. So we were only DMing for probably a couple of hours when we realized that I just really wanted to talk to her. I could tell from her videos and from what she was posting about Colby, it wasn't necessarily focusing on her cerebral palsy. It was focusing on her life. The relationship that they have, it provides such a powerful and strong role model for Colby. Colby has been able to try new things and do new things because she's seen Steph do them. I don't have children yet, but I do know that like this little girl is so special to me. Steph's always going to be my best friend. Forever. Oh my God. Please welcome five-year-old Kobe, her mom, Amanda, and mentor Steph to the show. Oh my goodness. Kobe. <laughs> How are you feeling, Kobe? Good. You feel good? How does it feel to see Steph? So good because I because me and me and Seth were just we're just best friends all <laughs> because one time she came for our house five days and then she stayed with us. Mm -hmm. She did. She did stay. Oh, that is so sweet, and you are the sweetest thing. Yeah, you know? she had a sleepover with us. Oh, <laughs> did you have fun? Did you sleep over? Oh my goodness. Now, Steph, can you explain to all of us what CP is? So CP stands for cerebral palsy, so we sometimes shorten it to CP. The easiest way that I can explain it, it it's a lack of oxygen to the brain shortly after a baby is born. So we often say that we're born with CP, but it actually happens shortly after a child is born. So sometimes the diagnosis can come as early as two months. Sometimes the diagnosis comes about two years. Um, I was born a twin, or am born a twin. I have a twin brother. Um, he's completely able-bodied, and I just happen to get a little bit less oxygen than him. So basically, I say the messages from my brain to the rest of my body don't always like to come to the party at the same time. So a little bit delayed, but uh, I think functionally it is a spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. So I think what's so special about the bond that I have with Colby, it's literally like looking into the future and the past at the same time. Um, and I think that's what really drew me to wanting to be part of her life. Mm. It's beautiful. Now, Amanda, how do you think it's changed Colby's life to meet Steph? It's changed all of our lives. Yeah. Um, for Colby, we've noticed her become more confident. She sees the opportunities that she can have in the future. Mm -hmm. um, she's learned things from Steph. She's learned how to stand up with her crutches, right? Um, and she's also become a lot more comfortable talking about her CP, from Steph modeling it and the conversations that they have together. Uh, it's it's brought all of us to a brand new level, it really has. Amazing. Right? And Steph, living has how has living with CP helped with your relationship with Kobe? Oh, I mean, it's it's incredible because it feels like. I always knew I had a purpose. Yeah. I've always known that I have a beautiful face and a big voice for a reason. But um, when... <laughs> um, but I think knowing that she knows that she can always come to me, I will never ever try to take the place of a parent because I'm not her parent. But knowing that she knows that she can come to me with anything, my door is always open and we can have open, honest conversations as she gets older and just navigate through life. I couldn't ask for anything better. Mm. All of you guys are a blessing to each other and us. Will you stick around for a little bit? Yeah. yeah. All right. 
more with these friends when we come back. And we're back with Colby, Amanda, and Steph. Now, Steph, say what you just shared with me. <laughs> You don't always get to see the empowering side, right? right? Your uh, parents are always told more of the negative side. And I think that's what my purpose has always been, is to show people you can be beautiful, you can be smart, you can get married, you, you, know, you, you can have all these experiences and, and, and also have CP. Right? I'm not defined by using a chair, right? We're all sitting in chairs right now. That's right. But nobody has the perception that you can't do something. But somebody looks at this chair and they automatically assume what I can't do versus what I can. Mm. So I think that's what I try to really empower her with. Wow, that... Mm -hmm. and, and I also have a wheelchair, just like Steph. Yes. But I just don't bring it as much as she does because I don't really need it that much as she does. I just need it for long walks in case my legs get tired. What do you use to walk? What else do you use? I also use my cane and my walker mm -hmm. which, and my crutches for when I wake up, my legs like feel like not getting up yet, so I use my crutches. Mm -hmm. That's right. Colby, what do we talk about with CP? Is it okay that... You and I have different kinds of CP? Yeah. Yeah? So sometimes you can walk a little bit better than me, right? Mm -hmm. You can walk without your cane, without your crutches. And guess what? Yeah. I saw a video of Steph. I saw a video of you. Like, you had like that cart, and then you were pushing it without using your wheelchair. Oh, yeah, I was oh, using the weights. When you were working out. I was pushing mm -hmm. the weights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That was so beautiful. Yeah. What would you like people to take away from your friendship? The doctor sat us down and said, we don't know what Colby's life is going to look like. Um, but Steph has taught me that she can be whomever she decides to be. She can be that athlete, that singer, yeah. right? Um, and I want people to look for someone that empowers them, as well as empowering others. Yeah. You were a blessing to find. It's, you know, our lives are forever changed, and it was all because of social media. Like, yeah. a very, <laughs> very brief thing. I think mm -hmm. social media, like we've talked about, can, can be a powerful tool. It can also be a mean place sometimes. Yes, it can. And no. don't be afraid to ask questions. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to go against the grain. And it's okay if a doctor gives you a diagnosis to say, I understand that, and that can be a blueprint, but that doesn't have to be the whole foundation of your home, mm -hmm. right? Mom, Amanda, you clearly play a huge role in, in just making things positive for your daughter, and that's something extremely important, too. So, yeah. you know, right? Your mom is amazing as well, right? I'm learning yeah. as I go. Learning She's as you incredible. go. And you have Steph. That's a blessing. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? I, I want to, like, be a kid doctor, so it's cool. A pediatrician. That's right. Yeah. You could be whatever you put your mind to. You have your mother as an example of that and Steph as an example of that. Right. I got a little something for you. Can I share it with you? Well, we wanted to do a little something special for you. And thanks to Southwest Airlines, we're going to cover your next couple of trips to visit each other. <gasps> How does that sound, Kobe? You want to go do see Aren't they beautiful? We will be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.